What is going on guys? My name is Doe and I hope you're doing good. I myself have been popping tonics like it's fireworks on the 4th of July, so I'm doing just fantastic. A little broke because tonics are expensive, but I'm doing pretty good. Now today I want to make a build using a axe in... Wow, that sounds really dumb. I want to make a build using the axe. That's crazy. No, no. I want to make a build that is based around Lady Lake Barrage in Blaze Escalation. I saw a tweet from Zanny talking about Railsplitter's Canteen. I was like, wait... I've been botting out because recently I've been using the hammer in Escalation and Blaze trying to use that with the LLB amplifier. It's not been that great because the hammer is just kind of, it got, it, it feels weird right now. But the axe feels amazing. I love the axe in Escalation. So I was like, wait, that sounds like a great idea. So the build I'm doing today is taking full advantage of that freaking amplifier, modifier, whatever it's called. Lady Lick Barrage, the amp that makes it so when you deal stagger damage, you have a chance to build cannonballs that deal roughly like 500 damage a piece. And I'll be teaching you guys how to make or create up to 400 of these suckers on the last round. And probably like around 100 to 200 each round. So basically today's video is a build the ball workshop. It doesn't sound great, but trust me, it's a good time. All right? Trust in the bust, brother. So today's build is using an axe. I wasn't lying about that. We have the Mind Splitter Axe, which is a Umbral Legendary from Thrax, which is pretty cool. And with the Axe build, or the Axe itself, we'll have Grim Onslaught, best Axe special you can have, trust me. It just outshines everything else. Rail, Spl Rail Splitter's Canteen, which is an, a modifier that is really good now, considering we have Catalyst, which makes your potions last longer. Rail Splitter's Canteen is basically part, it's like half a Catalyst, minus 10%. So, uh, Tonics consumed while your Axe is thrown have 50% increased effectiveness. That's only 10% less than Catalyst when you have plus 6 Catalyst. That's pretty freaking strong. It's going to be really important for our Tonic usage. And this build does use Tonics, in case you guys were, were unaware of that. So if you can't afford it, alright? you can't. If you can't afford to play the game, then you shouldn't show up to the arena. No, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll be leaving a different build description that doesn't use Tonics if you don't want to. But understand that using Tonics will give you the most insane effect. Like, Tonics are crazy. They, just, they, they really are. Anyway... The bond is Stalker's Mercy, you get plus Reward Frenzy, and the unique effect is just dealing damage to get even more damage in the form of orbs. And the max right there is, I think, around 30-something percent, 38, something like that. It's a pretty decent amount of damage, right? Pretty good. Now for my armor, I've got the Shroud Headpiece, Torog chest piece, Chiroge Gloves, and the uh, Torgadaro Feet. And it's a little different sort of armor set that I'm, I'm used to, which is also refreshing. We have two torque pieces and some char gloves. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Lantern, Drask, as per usual, my favorite. And then consumables, we have Assault Tonic, 40% increased stagger damage. This is a key part of this build. It's why it's so much fun. As you get 40% plus another 60% plus another 50% because of all that stuff going on. Not to include everything else happening with your cells and damage and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Bliss Tonic, more attack speed, Frenzy, more damage. Who don't love that? The staples of the game is good. And then for my perk economy, plus six catalyst, iceborne, knockout king, overpower, rage, plus three discipline, and wild frenzy. So everything here is pretty standard. Catalyst is new, but it's pretty obvious to know what it does. Knockout king, knockout king is like the only cell I don't normally use. I don't suggest using this cell in most cases. It's just not that great. In our case, we're trying to make as much stagger damage output as possible. So it's good to have this because if we get the Lady Lake Barrage amp, it's going to be doing even more damage. 30% more stagger damage. After dodging through an attack, your next attack deals 100% extra stagger damage. This was making it so I was hitting for like 40k stagger damage non-crit. So it's pretty freaking nice, okay? It's pretty. It's a pretty good time. I've, I've been enjoying it. It's been fun. And if you don't get the uh, amplifier Lady Lake Barrage, it's not a bad build which is kind of nice. It's kind of a neat factor where you're not just playing a dead build if you don't get the thing you want. If you don't if you don't pop tonics, it's going to be a little rough. So my suggestion there is if you're playing this build, which I hope you're watching, I hope you're going to play the build, uh, you want to pop tonics on the uh, past the first round. You can pop tonics on the first round. I would not though, because it's not really necessary. I just like suffer through it and try and make it through that round without tonics, just because why not? Now, the fun part about this build is getting Lady Lake Barrage. When you get that amp, dude, the amount of raw stagger damage you create is just wild. And to create the most stagger damage you want with this build, it's really important you focus the head 
or a major limb. So like a leg or an arm, like a big arm. If you're fighting like Rachel Nasher, don't hit the tail, don't hit the arms. That will not give you stagger damage. You want to focus the head if you can at all times. That's the goal here. And when you go between rounds, you want to throw your axe at a wall or something and then pop potion before going into the next round. Like, like right before going, right before aggroing the next behemoth, you want to pop potions and make sure they're ready to go. That's sort of like the playstyle of the build, and that's what you want to be doing the whole time. And other than that, man, aim for the head, deal as much stagger damage as you can, and just get freaking crazy with it. Now, in closing, I'll say that whoever the heck is aiming these these cannonballs is trash, dude. This guy can't aim. I've been saying it since the freaking amp came out. This guy is not a gamer. He needs gunners when he's operating the freaking cannonball gun. Like, oh my gosh. If he could aim, it'd be so much cooler. This would be such a such a better experience. Like, it's not bad. It's still cool. Like, I'm a pretty simple person. All right? I like seeing numbers increase, right? You, you have, like, a, a standard, like, oh, how many cannonballs can I generate kind of thing, right? Like, the average cannonball generation is, like, I don't know, probably 50. And then you do some crazy stuff and you just generate like 400 or something, close to 400. That's cool. It's always nice pushing boundaries and pushing limits like that. That's what makes this game fun for me. So that I'm still happy with it. I'm still happy it does this stuff, but I feel like the Lady Luck Barrage amp could be so much better. Like how about just giving me like, like bigger cannonballs instead of giving me so many. Like give me cannonballs that do like 20k a hit or something like that. And I can build stacks of those. Like, how about we do that instead? So that way I'm not hearing just this, like, barrage of cannonballs all the time firing off. And I apologize for the rant, but I feel like it's important to give some feedback on the amp in a video about the amp, you know? Like, give my suggestions for it, just to see if anyone else feels the same way. Because, this, like, I've noticed that some of the sounds for certain amps kind of almost put me off to the amp itself. And for LLB, all you hear is just this the whole time, right? That was a pretty, a pretty close impression, I think. But you hear that a lot, and it's just, there's so many cannonballs that fire, and at a certain point, the behemoth dies too, and the, the guy's still aiming at it. You're like, bro, it's dead. It, you did your job. You can you can calm down now. But I don't know. It's, it's a cool amp. I enjoy it. It's the most, I guess, interesting amp you can really get in Blaze Escalation, and that's what it has going for it. And it's it's a nice thing. It's nice being able to do this kind of stuff with that with, with that uh, interaction. And before getting Catalyst, before having this new interaction going, I think the most stacks I ever made was like 150. And then now in like a couple games of playing, I, I made like freaking 380 something stacks, 389, something like that, and like 100 or 200 average ev like the rounds prior. It's just crazy. I don't know. Like, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoy the rants, I guess, just to talk. But if you, you, I feel, I feel like y'all should really try it out. See what, see what goes down. Mess around with it. Definitely try not to go broke like I did. I freaking ran out of rams. That wasn't very fun, but it happens. Par for the course, I guess. Trying to be a content creator for this game. It's expensive, man. Like, people always ask me, like, how can I support you? It's like, bro, just send me rams, please. I'm broke. It, it's, it'd go a long way in fueling my, my aethertonic addiction. Speaking of which, dude, I'm like, dude, I'm actually just ranting here. So I might include this, I might not, who freaking knows. But I really want them to fix this aether drive tonic stuff because I have another build for the, uh, the hammer coming out that is kind of like the same thing here, except I'm doing it in uh, public hunts or regular hunts. And it's just like stagger lock city, dude. Getting like the behemoths don't get up for the most part. So expect that to happen sometime soon. Audio's recorded for it. But. Aether Drive Tonic still don't work, and I've been saying it in like the past couple videos, but I'm I'm mad, bro. I want to be a warlock. I want to be a mage. Let me do mage builds, but the game won't let me. So, yeah, it's just, uh, I think I'm done ranting. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm really waiting for Aether Drive Tonic to be fixed so I can actually do that kind of stuff, enjoy a different playstyle, enjoy some different stuff. Not that it'd be that different, right? You still want damage to make it so you can generate lantern, like lantern charge, but... It'd be a little different, I guess. You'd be popping off your lantern, hold the cast like nothing else, man. So, I don't know. That's the build, guys. That's the video. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you find it pretty cool. You try it out. If you do try it out, let me know how it goes. And other uh, than that, y'all, I appreciate you watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more Donald's content, and... Be sure to use my Epic Games support card code ODO in the Epic Games Store when you buy a Platinum and Dauntless, or you're just buying whatever. 
helps out a ton, and I appreciate it always. I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Odo. That's my name. If you want my in-game Dalton's Flare, subscribe there for it. And uh, now, other than that, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.